my god, we've just made it to our resort in Gilly Tea and it's unreal. So we've got this like balcony area and we chose a sea view room. So you can see the sea over there. Um, there's a little seat on the balcony. And then this is our room in here. So you come through and you've got the bed in the middle. Another mosquito net, I think. <laughs> I just really like the interior. It just looks really cool. Um, we've got this big mirror here. And then through this door is the toilet and shower. And it's actually outside. So the shower's there. We've got the toilet, sink area. How cool is this? It's actually quite big out here as well. I actually love this room. We're just walking around our resort and these are the villas with the pool access. So there's a pool at the back and then I think that looks like a bar. Um, but our suite's over here because we've got the view of the sea. But they're actually really cool. They're like huts and they're two floors. We're on the top floor. So we're just chilling at the hotel and we've ordered a strawberry mojito, obviously. It's happy hour, five to seven. Yep. And the mojito's on the menu, but we've asked them to do a strawberry mojito. Okay. Actually paying. Mm. Actually very paying. That's pretty good. some more cocktails I got an illusion which is basically loads of different like juices and vodka Jack got a blue lagoon so we've come to Pearl Beach Lounge for dinner I've got the mushroom risotto and then I've added some chicken and then Jack's got a chicken burger I was up getting he was gonna go for a Thai Thai curry and then he panicked and went for a chicken burger but to be fair that does look really good and mine looks unreal i'm glad i added the chicken though because i feel like sometimes with risottos if it's got no meat in it can be a little bit boring but Lovely. this looks really good so we've woken up for breakfast we actually get breakfast included at our hotel and this is probably the nicest breakfast from a hotel i've ever had <laughs> i haven't ever. even tried it yet <laughs> Ever. But I've got the breakfast burrito and then Jack got yeah, like... said I've got mushrooms. Basically like a full English. That's my mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That looks really nice. we got some fruit and then some orange juice. So we've hired bikes for the day. Um, if you didn't know, you can only get around the island either on a bike or horse and carriage. Um, there's no like cars or motorbikes here. So we've got these bikes for the day and we're going to ride around the whole island. We've come to this beach and we've just been out snorkelling and I saw a turtle. Um, there's quite a few turtles here because it's like their feeding point. But um, the sea's so clear. But it's so fun on the bikes, isn't it? Yeah, it's unreal. Literally riding around. I think it takes like an hour to get around the whole island but I'll let you know once we've done it. stopped off at another beach and the water is so clear here. I think this is Sunset Point Beach. We've come to Hula which is like a beach club sort of restaurant place and we've got some nachos. They look really good. They've got chicken, beans, tomato, jalapenos and we're allowed to use the pool as well so I think we're going to go in the pool in a minute. This is the view of the sea. We're now back at the hotel, chilling at the pool on one of these cabana beds and we just went up to the swim up bar and got a bintan crystal. We decided bintan crystals are so much nicer than 
the normal bin tanks. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So guys, I'm ready for the evening and it looks like I've really burnt my chest but it's not actually that burnt in person but Jack on the other hand is really ready. Tomato! <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't look that bad. I think now I've put some aloe vera on it, I'm sweet. Yeah, um, but we've got ready and we're going to go get some dinner. We've got our bikes tonight so we can cycle into the main bit and go to some of the bars that we've got written down because um, there's meant to be a couple of good bars in Gilly Tea so we're going to go for some dinner and then go to a few bars but I'm just wearing this little play suit from White Fox and I've French plaited my hair because I was going to straighten it but then I just thought there's no point because it's actually going to go frizzy after like five seconds but yeah Let's go get some dinner and go for a few drinks. So we've ended up coming to Regina Pizzeria for dinner. And when we turned up, we were like, no, we're not going here. But we're a bit snobby sometimes. Yeah. Nice. But not snobby because we we're afraid of getting barley. Though. Yeah. So someone doesn't look like fair and clean. And yeah, like, it's, not, yeah, no from us. But it has got really good reviews and we've like... Seen it everywhere. On yeah, I've seen it everywhere. There's loads of recommendations to come here, but um, it doesn't look that great. But I think the food's gonna be really good. Unreal. Yeah, unreal. <laughs> but um, there's like loads of pizzas to choose from and pastas. <laughs> Is it awkward? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where do I look? The camera over there? Yeah, I really need the menu. So, bin <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's loads of pizzas and pastas to choose from. We've got a pizza to share because I never eat that much. Um, but huge. we got a bintang, this is our table, and then this is the restaurant. So we got the ham, mozzarella and mushroom pizza, and it's actually quite big. I don't know if you can tell the size of it, but that actually looks really nice. It's like, you know, like the oven baked crust. Yeah. I thought I've got to come on and tell you that pizza was literally 10 out of 10. It was so nice. Um, so if you ever come to BT, then definitely come to what's it called? Reggae, Reggae Pizzeria. Um, so they've actually got so many different pizzas to choose from as well. And now I kind of wish me and Jack got one each so we could try two different toppings. But yeah, it was unreal. Where are we? We're at the Irish bar. We've come to the Irish bar for a drink because it's meant to be really good here and it's actually quite lively. Um, we cycled here. We've got a Fintang Crystal. Cheers. And Chelsea kick off in half an hour. Yeah, we're here for Can't the football basically. Guys, we just left the Irish bar after which, watching the football for about two hours. And 90 minutes, love. <laughs> Jack, Jack was using the bike like a scooter. <laughs> And now his chain's fallen off his bike. <laughs> Only this would happen to Jack. And he wants to get back to the hotel in time to watch the Grand National horse racing. We've got 12 minutes and it's counting down. <laughs> We've got 12 minutes. It takes about 20 Whoa, minutes to get back. And now he's broken his chain. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> right. We got breakfast at the hotel again this morning and we both got scrambled egg on toast and it looks so nice. Fancy with the pre on the top. <laughs> it what? comes with avocado and bacon underneath. We're back out on the bikes again. Um, we've come more inland and there's all these palm trees. It looks so sick. And I've got a new bike and it's pink. Bloody love it. That's a new one though because the one last night broke. <laughs> the chain broke. We're back at the beach with the turtles and we're in the sea and I'm going to try and film some.
guys, we're gonna ride our bikes back now to the hotel. It's currently like half four. Um, but I got some footage of the turtles in the sea and I think they're quite good. So I'm really excited to watch them back. But it's literally boiling still and it's half four. But we're gonna go back and watch the sunset on our bikes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So we've come back to the hotel for dinner. They said if we wrote a review, we get 50% off the menu. So why not? we've both chosen fish and chips and it looks really good. Got the AK-47 drinks. I don't know if I explained last night, but it's tequila, vodka, rum, gin, gin um, with orange juice. And a bit of lime. And some lime. So it's quite a strong drink, but I'm excited for this. It's so annoying though because the sun's just gone behind the clouds so I don't think we're going to see a sunset. So I've just got ready for the evening. I've just got on this like bando. I've got my shorts on and I've left my hair to dry naturally but it's literally so frizzy. I've had to put it half up half down. Um, I am a little bit burnt today as you can tell. <laughs> currently laying in bed and we're back at the room we stayed at the irish bar for like two hours um got some drinks there and then we moved on to i think it was called like tequila tequila i can't remember what the name was um but we got a drink there and then it actually closed so we ended up just drinking our drinks on the road and there was this like singer on the street and he was actually singing really good songs so we stayed there for like i don't know i think it was like half an hour or something and then we biked home which took like 15 minutes and we're back at the room but yeah we're just gonna go to sleep now it's kind of annoying because we're really hungry and you can't like order grab food or anything here and all the restaurants and everything that's shut but we just wake up in the morning and get some breakfast but my face i burnt my face a little bit today and it feels really hot and whenever i burn my face i always have these like white frown lines because i always frown and i don't know if you can tell i'm not sure you can it's really annoying but um yeah Hopefully I just put some aloe vera on that and it'll be all right in the morning. But we're already packed up and ready to leave to go to the villa tomorrow. I don't actually know if I've explained, but we've done three nights here and then we're going to a villa tomorrow for two nights, which should be good because it breaks up a little bit. We're more inland with the villa, um, but we're quite close to the beach, so... I think we're just gonna wake up, have breakfast here, and then go to the villa, and then see what we fancy doing. <laughs> So 
have just arrived at our villa. This is Villa's Adenia and it's unreal. We've got an outside pool and then an area to sunbathe. There's also an outside shower, which is cool. And then this is like a seating area with a fridge, tea and coffee. And round the villas are loads of palm trees and we can see them. Look how unreal that looks. And all these like pink flowers. And then I'll show you the inside. So you come in, this is the bedroom. They've put flowers on the bed. How cute. There's another seating area here. And then we go through to the bathroom. The bathroom's actually outside. There's like bamboo walls. There's the shower. And then you've got the toilet and the sinks. And a big mirror. Which is good because I'll be able to do my makeup in this mirror. This is definitely the nicest place we've stayed whilst we've been away. And it's so nice to have like our own space and our own pool. We actually get a floating breakfast in the morning, so I'm excited for that. I'll leave that Instagram in the description um, and the name of the place on the screen. So at these villas, you can text them on WhatsApp and order room service. So we've got a club sandwich and some spring rolls. That club sandwich looks insane. So we've come down to the beach to watch the sunset. It was literally like a five minute walk to the beach from the villa. So that's good, we didn't need to hire a bike and we just walked here. But it looks quite nice at the moment, but I feel like the sun's gonna go behind those clouds. Come to the window bar to watch the sunset. There's loads of green bikes. We said we weren't gonna drink, but we've ended up with a alcoholic drink. Jack I've got a Bintang Crystal and I've got a Coconut Mojito. So we've just got back to the villa and it looks so nice at night with all the lights on. There's a pool light as well so it's all lit up. I actually love this villa, it's so nice. So we're having a chilled night tonight and staying in the villa and we ordered some room service for dinner. Jack's got chicken, rice and vegetables. I've got this pasta which has got mascarpone, I think it was called zucchini, zucchini, um, which I don't actually know what that is but it looks really good. Sorry guys, I feel like I haven't vlogged much at all today um, but I feel like when we move like villas or like hotels I never really vlog much. Got to this villa this morning and we just spent like the day chilling by the pool, sunbathing and we just wanted it to be like quite chilled. We came back here, ordered the room service for dinner. There's basically a spa um, and you can get like different treatments done. So Jack had a full body massage and I got my nails done. I just got white gel because my other gel fell off. So I just wanted like some polish on them just to make them a little bit nicer. Jack enjoyed his full body massage. Now we're just going to watch a film and then go to sleep. But I'll hopefully vlog some more tomorrow. Um, like around the villa and stuff. Um, and I think we're going to go on the bikes again tomorrow. And maybe see the turtles and cycle around a bit. But yeah, for now we're just going to chill out and go to sleep. So... I'll vlog in the morning because we're actually getting our floating breakfast in the morning as well which will be good. So we've got our floating breakfast, we ordered a fruit platter, a sort of like full English, um, two orange juice and then one tea and one coffee but it just keeps floating around the pool, <laughs> off it goes. Thoughts are spinning round in my head I boss so sit down Cause I'm almost there Now I see you through the window And I'm walking on air But I won't let you know So we've just come out for lunch We hired bikes again 
and how long would you say it took us to get here? 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. We've come to the main bit with all the restaurants and cafes. The cafe we've come to is called Hello Capitano. It's actually really cute inside. We're at the top, but there's also another level downstairs, which has the view of the sea. So our food's just come out. We've both got the club wrap and fries and it looks really nice. I got mine without bacon. Comes out on a little pineapple plate. Fucking up, well Down at the beach today. With our bin tanks. We're now at the Sunset Beach Bar and we've got it all to ourselves. There's all these bean bags and no one's here yet. You can see the sunset really well here. It's like right in front of us. But it's actually really cute here. ready for our final night in Gilly Tea. I'm sad about it because it's literally been unreal here. I have actually made an effort tonight and straightened my hair and put some makeup on because it's our last night. I thought, why not? But we're just going to go out for some dinner and maybe to a bar and get a drink um, and then we'll come back here. We've got a boat tomorrow and we're going back to Bali. But yeah, just got this top on from Primark and then my shorts, which I bought in Thailand. Come to Pasta Pojok, I think that's how you say it, um, for dinner. It's basically in Italian. And we've got a chicken sausage pizza to share. And then we've also ordered chicken wings. We haven't actually had chicken wings in like nearly two months, two months now. If not longer, I don't normally have chicken wings. Yeah. <laughs> But well, I don't know why, we both really fancied them, so we're going to share this and share the chicken wings. Just finished the pizza and it was so good, um, but now our chicken wings have come out. We chose barbecue chicken wings and they look juicy. Our last breakfast in Gilly Tea. We've got breakfast at the villa again. I decided to go for this French basket and then Jack went for the brekkie plate, brekkie plate again. Job. We've got a friend. This cat's at the villas and it's called Moggy. It's really cute. I think she can smell Jack's bacon. Moggy. Hello. Oh, she's so cute. The time's come to say goodbye to the villa. Bye, villa. Bye, villa. <laughs> so I didn't actually explain, but this is the walkway down to the villas. Um, and there's quite a few of them. I'm not sure how many, but I think around seven. Um, but it's really pretty. There's like loads of trees and these like pink flowers. 